On November 25, 1883, a group of blacks met at the Deu Suthesia Church in Yankton, a city in the Dakota Territory. The purpose of the meeting was to start an African Methodist Episcopal Church, or AME, as that was the church many of them had been members of before moving to Yankton. J.W. Malone, the district presiding elder from Sioux City, Iowa, came to Yankton to help them get organized. Even though they did not yet have a church building, they decided to name their future church building the Allen Chapel, in honor of Richard Allen, the founder of the African Methodist Episcopal Church. Twelve people joined that day, and three more in the next few months. The motto of the AME Church is God our Father, Christ our Redeemer, Holy Spirit our Comforter, Humankind our Family. After organizing, they met for two years in Robinson's Barbershop, located at 4th and Broadway, today a busy corner at which a fountain is located. On November 27, 1885, Amos Lewis and his wife Clara sold the lot at 509 Cedar Street to the trustees of the AME Church for one dollar. Amos Lewis, who was a bricklayer, was responsible for building the church. He was a freed slave, having learned the trade from his slave master. He built the church with great speed and the congregation was able to hold a Christmas service there just one month later. The pews had been finished just three days before Christmas. By 1889, Four years later, it was reported in Press and Dakota, the town's newspaper, that one half of the colored population living in Yankton was members of the AME Church. One of the leading families in the church was the Blakey family, which moved from Missouri to Yankton in 1905. Ted Blakey, who died in 2004, was active in preserving the history of the Yankton AME Church, even after services ceased to be held there in the 1980s. Amen. See.